Hi, I'm Rob Meyer of the William Patterson University IRT department. As we go increasingly to remote instruction and conferencing, the need to record ourselves presenting is increasing. In response, we are offering a series of videos with recommendations for how best to do this. We are going to tailor these videos toward the most common tools you will likely have at your disposal. Today, we're going to look at how to upload videos and photos from your iPhone to Microsoft OneDrive. To get started, unlock your iPhone, find the App Store, and open it. One way to find an app is by swiping down from the middle of the home screen and typing App Store in the search field. Once in the App Store, click on the search button on the bottom right corner of your screen. Then, type Microsoft OneDrive in the search field and select the Microsoft OneDrive option. Next, click on the Get button and enter your Apple password if required. OneDrive will now install on your phone. Once OneDrive is installed, you can go ahead and press Open. You will then be asked to sign into your account. Type your William Patterson University email address and then click on the right arrow in the middle of the screen. This will bring you to the WP login screen where you can enter your university password. Faculty and staff will be required to log in with Duo Authentication. Information on setting up two-factor authentication with Duo is available on the IT Wiki. Once you are logged into your account, you will then be presented with some options. First, you can choose to be notified of file changes, and then you'll be asked if you'd like to allow OneDrive to send you notifications. After making your choices, you will then be ready to use OneDrive on your iPhone. The window you see when you first start is the Files window, which shows you all the files that you currently have stored on OneDrive. For this video, we are going to focus on how to upload videos you have already recorded to a shared folder that IRT has created on OneDrive. This is a scenario you are likely to encounter when you are preparing videos for inclusion in a special event. You should have received an email with a link to a shared OneDrive folder for you to upload your video to. Find that email and click on the link once you have found it. The link should start with https colon forward slash forward slash student wpnj dash my dot sharepoint dot com. After clicking on the link, the shared folder will now open in OneDrive. Now you can click on the plus button on the top right corner of your screen. In the drop down list, press the upload button, then choose photos and videos. Next, scroll down to videos and find the video you recorded there. Select the video or videos that you would like to upload by touching them, which will put a check on them. Once you have selected the videos you want to upload, press done on the top right corner of your screen. To see the progress of your upload, click on the blue ribbon just above the camera icon on the bottom of your screen. When the upload is complete, you will no longer see the blue ribbon on the bottom of the screen and you'll see your uploaded files in the shared folder. To upload photos, follow the same procedure, but you'll find your photos in My Photo Stream. Now, if you don't see your uploaded file, you may need to resort the files so that they are shown by newest to oldest. To do this, scroll to the top of the list of files and click on the Sorted by Name button. In the drop-down list, press Sort by Newest, which should bring your files to the top of the list. If you want to review the file that you uploaded, you can click on it and press the Play button in the middle of the screen. Once you are certain it is the correct file, tap once on the screen to get the play controls to be visible if they have disappeared, and press the pause button. Click the X on the top left corner of the screen to close the player. You may have noticed that the name of the video files that you uploaded are a series of numbers, 
some of which represent the date and time the video was taken on. In order for the IRT staff to more easily identify who uploaded the video, we ask that you change the name of the file that you uploaded to your last name dash your first name. To change the name of your file, click on the three vertical dots on the top right corner of your screen. In the drop down menu, press rename this file. Delete the current title and enter your last name, then dash, and then your first name. If you uploaded more than one video, include a number after your first name, starting with one and counting up. When you are finished renaming the file, click Done on the top right corner of your screen. This will bring you back to the file preview screen. To go back to the file screen, click on the left arrow on the top left corner of your screen. You'll notice that your file is now renamed. If you need to get back to the shared folder, you should be able to find it in the shared window by clicking on the shared button on the bottom of your screen. If you can't find it, you can always go back to the email that was sent to you with the link for the shared folder. Thank you for joining us for this IRT tutorial on how to upload video and photos from your iPhone to OneDrive. For other helpful tips, please check out our other videos on the IRT YouTube page.